The Air France Flight 4590 accident forever changed runway maintenance protocols at airports worldwide. Inspection procedures became more rigorous, with mandatory checks after each takeoff and landing. Fuel tank designs incorporated new technologies to resist shockwaves. Emergency procedures were revised to give crews better tools for handling situations like the one Captain Marty faced. But the greatest legacy of Flight 4590 was demonstrating that even the most advanced and proven technology is vulnerable to unforeseen consequences of apparently minor failures. A 29-gram piece of metal had ended the dream of flying commercially at the speed of sound. In aviation museums worldwide, 18 Concords remain as silent monuments to human ambition and technology's limits. At the Air and Space Museum at Le Bourget near Paris, Concorde F-BTSS is displayed as a reminder of both the triumph and tragedy of supersonic aviation. Today, more than two decades later, new companies like Boom Supersonic work on the next generation of commercial supersonic flight, incorporating lessons learned from the Concorde and the Flight 4590 tragedy. Modern engineers study every detail of that July Tuesday, every decision made in the cockpit, every second captured by cameras, to ensure that when humanity returns to flying commercially faster than sound, it does so safely. Air France Flight 4590 taught us that progress comes with inherent risks, but also that every tragedy, however devastating, makes us wiser, more careful, more determined that the skies be safe for all who dream of flying. The 113 lives lost in Gones were not in vain if their legacy lives in every safety improvement, in every new design, and in every future flight that arrives safely at its destination. In the blue sky over the Atlantic, the distinctive supersonic roar of the Concorde is no longer heard. But in aerospace engineering laboratories worldwide, the dream of flying at the speed of sound remains alive, now tempered by wisdom born from tragedy and strengthened by determination that never again will a small piece of metal determine the fate of so many innocent lives.